A couple in their near 30s is already in a 14-year relationship. Their family members are convinced that they are meant for each other. Their friends even tease them into getting married soon. They are currently live-in partners who are not ready to settle down. One morning, they started their day early to go to Ethan's family. They wore the best casual outfit they could. Before heading there, they stopped by a bakery to buy a cake. They are long-term couples, but they still fight over simple things. Rome wants strawberry cake and matcha. Meanwhile, Ethan loves salted caramel flavor. They only have to pick two cakes. They argued, and as usual, the lady won. They end up buying strawberries and matcha. Ethan was upset. He went inside the car and left her. Ethan's family had lunch together. While enjoying the meal, his pregnant sister complained about the maternity photo shoot expenses. She advised that the two should save for their future wedding. They finally ate the cake, and they loved the flavors. Rome laughed and stared at Ethan. She wanted to tease him that she had picked the right flavors. The family was having a great time, not until Ethan's mom asked about the couple's plans for marriage. Rome smiled awkwardly. In her mind, she madly wants to tie a knot with Ethan. However, she knew he was still not ready to settle down with her. Indeed, when everyone asked him, he smiled and excused himself to get some wine. Later that day, Rome and Ethan went to their friend's party. There, Archie welcomed them. He teased Ethan if he was ready. Rome heard them, and she became curious. Monique was also there and admired her blouse. She teased her that she was prepared for the special occasion. Suddenly, Ethan stood in the center. He also requested everyone to gather around. Rome was surprised. She didn't know that he would be proposing there. Ethan continued talking and apologized for being late. He also thanked everyone for attending the special occasion. Archie interrupted. He called Monique's attention. He held her hand and brought her to the center of the crowd. Archie proposed to her. Monique was in tears, and she said yes. Rome was embarrassed. She thought that Ethan would be the one proposing. In her mind, her boyfriend is only good at surprising other people, but not her. Ethan, on the other hand, was cheering the engaged couple. In the car, Rome told Ethan that she expected earlier that he would be proposing to her. Ethan laughed and thought she was crazy. He said to her that marriage is useless because they already treat each other as married couples. He also said that it is costly to have a wedding these days. Rome cried silently. She felt hurt that he never see them in the future as married couples. Ethan replied that she should wait and it would come. The next day, Ethan was running late to his office. Suddenly, a beautiful lady entered. She caught everyone's attention. She confidently walked in her heels while approaching him. Ethan was mesmerized by her. He finds her attractive and hot. The lady is Erica, much older than his age. She told him that he was promoted. Ethan was shocked. He could not process what he heard. He waited for seven years to be promoted. His heart was full that it had finally happened. Ethan immediately called Rome into her office. She was also happy to hear such great news. They decided to celebrate and booked a restaurant for dinner. While they were dining, Ethan was so happy. He told his girlfriend he was the fastest employee to be promoted in the office. Rome burst out laughing. She said to him that working for seven years before being promoted is not that fast. Ethan was insulted. Regardless, he continued to talk to her. Rome interrupted and said that she also had something to say. She told him she was offered to work in Singapore as a creative director. However, she doesn't want to accept it. Rome thought that she could not watch him over if she would go. She's also afraid to be in a long-distance relationship. Ethan dropped his utensils on the plate. He was mad at Rome. He asked why she needed to monitor his actions constantly. Rome explained that she didn't want to leave him alone in their new condo. She also told him that her decision was final. However, Ethan was still pissed off. He insisted her to go if she wanted to. He was mad with her trust issues. She always overthinks that he will cheat again. Rome was teary. She never mentioned his past mistakes, but he acted like he was guilty. She drank her wine and left. She cried because it seemed her fault to feel hurt after being cheated on. They had a dinner to celebrate their promotion, but it looked like they had a meal to argue. Rome went home. She sat at the room's window, crying. Ethan came and apologized. He was sorry that he brought up the past. Even if Rome was in pain, she replied because she loved him so much. She said that it was fine. The following day, Ethan was in the middle of traffic. He looked around when he saw Monique kissing a girl on the lips. He was shocked because she just got engaged with his best friend. Ethan decided to meet Archie. In the cafe, Archie arrived. Ethan didn't know how to reveal that Monique cheated on him. Archie and Monique had been dating for more than three years before they got engaged. In Ethan's mind, he has to tell him the truth before they start a new chapter as a couple. He said to him that Monique is a les. She was kissing a woman in front of a condo. Archie burst into laughing. He clarified that his girlfriend is not a les but bi. He also told him that he knew they were dating, and he was okay with that. Ethan was confused. He thought that Archie was crazy. There, Archie confessed that he and Monique are in an open relationship. They agreed to have other partners as long as they were not romantically attached to them. He even has one, and he sleeps with her sometime. 
Monique was okay with it. It was never an issue, but they must remain committed to each other at the end of the day. Ethan finds their setup weird since they are getting married. But his friend replied that they had already talked about it, and they planned to continue the relationship even in the future. Later that night, Ethan and Rome went to the mall to purchase something for the new condo. However, Ethan was annoyed that Rome went to buy dresses. She asked him to wait outside because she'll be in the fitting room for a while. After she left, Ethan saw a familiar woman. She was also shopping for clothes beside him. It was Ms. Erica. She was quite attractive. He called her attention and greeted her. The lady was glad to see him and asked why he was there. He told her that he was waiting for his girlfriend. Little did they know, Rome was watching them from afar. She has a trust issue, so she went near. She requested her boyfriend to zip the dress for her. Ethan introduced Rome to Erica. She was so friendly and even offered to help Rome find a dress that suited her. She has an eye for fashion, and she dresses well. Rome, on the other hand, was civil to her. She finds her friendly and kind. However, she was irritated to see how Ethan looked at her. He was always smiling and followed her to get the dress she was suggesting. She felt jealous. Even if the woman is older than her, she looks chic and attractive for her age. While Ethan was busy scrolling his phone, Rome seduced him with the new dress she had bought. However, as they kissed, Ethan accidentally uttered Erica's name. Rome was shocked. She was upset and concluded that she was right. That her boyfriend was cheating on her. She had a breakdown. She couldn't stop crying when Ethan rattled. He was attracted to Erica, but he never slept with her. They argued that they almost broke up. Ethan was trying hard to fix their relationship, so he apologized. He also calmed down Rome and told her about what he found out about his friend Archie and Monique. They are in an open relationship but committed to each other, but they are allowed to sleep with strangers. Ethan said that maybe they should try it. They are their firsts and were never with other partners. Perhaps they are bored, that's why they kept arguing. Rome was surprised to hear that from Ethan. She thought that he was crazy for suggesting that. She wondered how sleeping with other people could improve the relationship. Ethan replied and used Archie and Monique as an example. Archie's trust issues were gone, and Monique was happier than ever. Not only that, they argue lesser because of an open relationship. Rome was still unconvinced. She was upset, thinking that Ethan wanted to sleep with other women. She cried. She tried to fix their relationship but not in that manner. Ethan was disappointed. He thought that he couldn't save their relationship anymore. For the last time, he asked her if she would agree or they would end their relationship for good. Rome stopped crying. She's afraid to lose Ethan. She's willing to do anything just to be with him. In the end, Rome agreed to have an open relationship. The next day, Rome met Monique. She wanted to know more about open relationships, and she's the first person she thought of. Monique told her that it was not for everyone. It is a scary type of relationship because it might work on other couples, but some cases turn out worst. She also advised Rome that it has to be her will, and she doesn't have to be forced to do it. At the grocery store, Ethan was happy to know that Rome was doing her research about an open relationship. She told him there should be no strings attached and they must only be allowed to sleep with strangers. At the counter, Rome had a hard time thinking about how she will find a man. Ethan was supportive and taught her about online dating sites. They found one, and the guy was more handsome than him. He also wanted to meet Rome, and Ethan was okay about it. At some point, Rome was in pain that Ethan permitted her to meet a man he barely knew. However, she has to do it for their relationship. Later that night, Ethan drove Rome to the meeting place with her date. She was nervous. She already forgot how to flirt with guys because she had only dated Ethan since then. Her boyfriend held her hand and told her she didn't have to be afraid. They are still committed, and she doesn't need to overthink. Hearing those, she finally had courage but told him they should stop it if it doesn't work. Ethan assured her that they will. After sending off Rome, Ethan went to the club with Archie. He felt that he was single again. While they were having fun, Erica approached them. She looked stunning in her baby pink dress. Archie asked her who she was with. The lady replied that she was alone. She told them that she's an independent woman and she doesn't need a man in her life. Hearing that, Ethan was delighted. He was attracted to her personality. Archie teased him that he should make a move. Ethan smiled and told him that he and Rome created a rule that they should only flirt with strangers. Ethan drank himself through the night with Archie, regretting that he couldn't sleep with Erica. Later that night, Ethan followed Erica. He accompanied her outside the club and offered to drive her home. Erica laughed and told him she had to test him first to see if he could still drive. Ethan approached her and stared directly into her eyes. He was attracted to Erica the first time his eyes laid on her. He badly wants to kiss her. However, Erica was responsible enough to decline, knowing that he has a girlfriend. On the other hand, Rome finally met the guy from the dating app. She tried to converse with him, however, she felt awkward. The guy was very much outspoken and open-minded. He also looks like he has slept with different women. Rome couldn't take it anymore, she couldn't pretend to love his company. She didn't like him. He was handsome, but he was not her type. The guy drove her home. He initiated a kiss, but Rome stopped him. The man understood her and told the lady that it was okay. He said that it is natural when dating someone, 
and that is the purpose of it, to know if the two of them will click. Rome was happy that he respected her decision. She went home and found Ethan there. She didn't expect him to arrive early. Ethan saw her, and he was curious about how the date went. He told her that he had spent the night well with Archie, but Rome was not convinced that he was not with someone else. She said to him that the guy was handsome. She made up some things in her mind to make him feel jealous. Ethan was hurt that someone was making her happy. He kissed Rome and made love to her. They had a wonderful night. He told her that if their relationship was like that, maybe they did not resort to an open relationship. Rome looked at him. She was happy that Ethan was to stop meeting someone and just focus on themselves. She also wanted to do the same. The following day, Rome went to her friend, Mia. She confessed about the open relationship setup that bothered her extremely. This includes how she pretended to be intimately attached to other men just to make Ethan jealous. Mia advised her that the decision was up to her. She can continue if she's willing to do it. Otherwise, she has to end it as soon as possible. Ethan, on the other hand, was in a happy mood. Aside from having a wonderful night with Rome, he got to know Erica even more at the club. In the office, they are comfortable talking to each other. He wanted to make a move, so he flirts with her at work. It was late afternoon when Erica visited him in his office. She said that their boss wanted to talk to him. While they were talking, Rome called him. She was asking the time he'll arrive home. Ethan told her he might be home late because they had an emergency meeting. Rome overheard Erica's voice. She suspected that she was with him. Ethan denied it and dropped the call. Rome was upset. She is positive that it was Erica's voice. She felt unmotivated to decorate the house. Earlier, she was decorating it to make their home romantic. She even wore an attractive dress to make Ethan happy. At that moment, she realized that Ethan should not be the only one enjoying their open relationship and leaving her suffering. Rome went to the club with Mia. She wildly danced to the beat. She was still wearing the red blouse, and she undeniably looked attractive. All she did is to drink and party the whole night. Men attempted to get near her, but she pushed them away. Fortunately, a gentleman rescued her. It was Sam. He is tall and attractive. His gentle gestures made Rome interested in getting to know him. Ethan, on the other hand, went to the bar with Erica. After having a deep conversation, he learned that she had given up her relationship for her career. They drank all night and shared their problems. After that, Ethan drove Erica home. He also accompanied her to her unit. There, he started flirting. Erica moved away and offered him to drink water. She also grabbed a wine while waiting for him outside the bathroom. He was so drunk that he lay on the floor. He told her he could no longer go home and asked if he could stay. He also initiated to kiss Erica, but she refused. She said to him that she was not drunk and stupid. She knows he is flirting with her because he and Rome have a problem. Ethan denied it and told her that they were in an open relationship. Hearing that, Erica kissed him, and they made love. Meanwhile, Rome and Sam went out to talk. She was crying while sharing her situation with Ethan. She was mad at him because he was effortlessly flirting with women like he did not care about her feelings. Sam pitied her. She was afraid to lose Ethan, but she was losing herself. She was forced to enter an open relationship because she didn't want their relationship to end. He told her that falling out of love is normal for couples in long-term relationships. They only have each other since then, and they get bored over time. Sam suggested that she needs to get to know herself more. She and Ethan have different identities, and she has to know what she wants to enjoy in life. Rome made a realization. She thanked him for his kind words. There, Sam patted her hair gently. Rome likes it. Ethan was never gentle to her for a long time. At that moment, her eyes were fixed on Sam. She was falling in love with him. Sam went nearer and kissed her. She did not refuse and kissed back. They went inside a room, and Sam was so gentle with her. He wanted to make sure that she was okay. They made love that night. The next day, Rome went home early than Ethan. She was crying while brushing her teeth. As she recalled what happened last night, she felt she had betrayed his boyfriend. She couldn't believe that she had slept with another man. Rome had a breakdown after. While she was eating her breakfast, Ethan arrived, and he looked happy. He told her that she had met someone last night, and he showered at the motel. Hearing that, Rome boasted that she also had a great night with a guy. Ethan looked at her, and she was glowing. He felt jealous that someone was making her happy more than he could. The next day, Rome met a curator named Norman. He is tall and attractive. He's willing to work with her after knowing that she loves painting. Norman is also interested in featuring her paintings in his art gallery sometime. Rome's love of painting was restored. She enjoyed doing it so much that she forgot all her worries. Meanwhile, Ethan was still seeing Erica. He even became much sweeter. Despite being in an open relationship, he only stayed with her and never flirted with different ladies. He was falling in love with her. While trying out suits for the wedding, Archie was happy to know that an open relationship worked between Ethan and Rome. However, when Ethan told him that it was Erica, he got so mad. He doesn't want to tolerate his best friend hurting Rome. They agreed only to date a stranger, but Ethan violated it. After painting again, Rome became more confident and blooming than ever. She even led the company's success by establishing partnerships. Her boss was so impressed with her performance. Meanwhile, if Rome was at the peak of success, Ethan was failing at work. He was also bothered thinking that he cheated on Rome. From then, he started to stay away from Erica as much as possible. 
Ethan went home to see Rome's beautiful paintings. He made a realization that he was lucky to have her. He suddenly missed her presence. He woke up and caught her in the living area. She was busy playing cards. She was also not sweeter to him anymore. Ethan was hurt. He was afraid to lose her. With teary eyes, he suggested stopping the open relationship setup. Rome was surprised, and she agreed. Days passed by, and Ethan tried to be romantic with Rome. He always makes surprises for her. However, Rome was so busy that he felt that she was falling out of love with him. She also became closer to Norman. One time while Rome was cooking, Norman called her. She was so happy to know that someone was interested in her paintings. They even offered her an amount to buy it. Rome looked so happy, and Ethan saw that. He was jealous that she was enjoying life, unlike him. Ethan was afraid that Rome would choose her career over him. While they were having dinner, Ethan was staring at Rome. She was so beautiful. It made him realize that she was afraid to lose her. He held her hand and cried. He asked her for marriage without a ring to give her. Rome cried not because she was touched but because she didn't know how to respond. For more than a decade, she waited for him to propose. She knew she was ready to start a new chapter of life with him. This time that he's asking for her hand, she feels she's not yet ready. Ethan and Rome attended a baby shower. Rome was confused why Archie did not greet Ethan. She approached him to ask if they were not on good terms. There, Archie revealed that Ethan cheated on her with Erica. Rome was extremely upset. She was so angry at Ethan that no tears fell in her eyes. She asked for the car keys from him. Ethan, on the other hand, cried and wanted to explain to her. He followed her in the car, but Rome was hysterical. She wanted to punch him for what he did. She realized that Erica was the main reason he wanted an open relationship. She loved him so much that she agreed to do that setup. All she wants is to save their relationship. But it was painful to know that Ethan was the one destroying it. Ethan regretted what he did. He cried all day in the condo unit they bought for their future. Days passed by, and he and Archie became friends again. He opened up that he wanted to win back Rome by proposing to her for the second time. The next day, Ethan was happy to know that Rome would visit him. He wanted to cook for her while she was packing her things. She refused because she would be leaving soon. Rome accepted the job offer in Singapore as creative director. Ethan knelt and begged for her to stay. He told her to give him another chance. Rome said to him that she already did, but he cheated again. She agreed to be in an open relationship, even if it was awkward to be with another man. She even allowed him to date another woman just to save their relationship. Ethan couldn't stop crying. He begged again that she can't leave. But Rome's decision was final. He couldn't do anything but hug her for the last time. Rome left. Instead of saving their toxic relationship, she chose to save herself this time around. 